What does the Aurora Borealis look like from the ISS? Let's take a look. NASA astronaut Matthew Dominic took this amazing footage from the International Space Station and shared it on the social media platform X. That's a Russian Soyuz spacecraft you can see attached to the ISS in the foreground. The sun has been especially active this year because it's at or near solar maximum. Every 11 years, the sun's magnetic poles flip, and this cycle is characterized by a quiet period, followed by an active period, then back to a quiet one. The result of solar maximum is an increase in sunspots, which leads to a lot more geomagnetic storms. That's why we've had such brilliant aurora this year, both northern and southern lights. So what causes the aurora? Well, sunspots are active regions of the sun, and they produce solar flares. You can think of these like explosions on the sun. Solar flares can then trigger coronal mass ejections, or CMEs, which are basically made up of the sun's plasma and charged particles. CMEs violently eject those charged particles out into the solar system. When those charged particles interact with the Earth's atmosphere, that's what creates the aurora. That's also why it's hard to predict when the northern and southern lights will occur. CMEs don't move at a predictable rate, so it can be really hard to tell when they will hit the Earth. Towards the end of this video right here, you can see the Soyuz lighting up and turning blue. That's because of the sun rising and hitting the Soyuz.